back to the pit. Uh, as always, Travis from Snake Den Entertainment and the Cursed Sons. And hope everybody had a good Christmas. Hope everybody's getting set up for a big new year. But before we close out the year, I'd like to talk a little bit about 2018's Burnt Pages EP from the band Negan. No, not that Negan. Not that Negan either. Yeah, that Negan. We're talking about uh, Hastings PA's Negan, uh, which features Mike Davis on vocals, features Bob Gray on guitar, backing vocals and keys, features Josh Honor on bass, Jeremy Ashurst on rhythm guitar, and Damian Falatek on the drums. Um, the 2018 Burnt Pages 4 song EP was recorded and mixed and mastered by Rick Golden at Golden Records in Summerhill, PA. So, uh, let's dive right into the top five. You are obsolete. 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 Lyrical content. Yes, the lyrical content. These guys from Negan tricked me into listening to social and political issues. I usually don't fight on that stuff too hard, but, uh, you know, they disguise it well enough that it's just, it just sounds like a really cool song. Like, at first listen, uh, obsolete to me was like, uh, you know, uh, out with the old, the new, the news here, so it's gotta be better, right? And then come to find out after doing a little research, aka watching the lyric video on YouTube, uh, it's actually based on a Twilight Zone episode, so no wonder I liked it so much. Uh, where do we go? Seems to me like it's something like people push too far. Like you've gone too far, but it's pretty. Now what do you do to get better? And uh, we, we's, we's probably lyrically my favorite song on there. Uh, Mike literally hits some. Uh, I don't. I, it's just like a cross between a little bit of some filter and some Alice and Chains shit. When you listen to uh, anything, Negan, they have a really nice blend of both of those types of bands. It's like a like a heavy metal with a '90s like uh, alternative overtones. It's it's cool shit. I like it a lot. But uh, yeah, the song we used is it seems like the world's full of fake people, and if only people could be real for just a second. And. Uh, you know, these guys just really do. They they hold up a mirror to society. They say, hey, check this out. You are obsolete. 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 The riff. I said it. I damn near every top five video I've done. I'm a sucker for the riff. While well, Negan's big on melody, he still has the riff. Listen to their song The Devil's Coming. Just and, and the song Where Do We Go From Here? I mean it's not just your basic straight up three chord power chord songs. Like there's there's a lot of work that went into their riffage. Uh, it, it definitely shows up in the songs too, like uh, By all means if, if you're if you're a guy that that's definitely pulled into the riff, check out their song The Devil's Coming. Or Where Do We Go From Here? They they do a good job. You are obsolete. 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 The song We. It's not very often that I will pick out a song as one of my top five things about an album. But uh, the song We is pretty killer. Uh, it's pretty much a trailer for everything that Negan's about. Like it, it, it takes every little chunk of uh, the things that Negan does really cool smashes it all in one song like uh, a lot of people don't give the rhythm sections enough credit when they talk about bands but uh, that Josh fella throws in a nice walking bass line the whole way through that song and you get all kinds of really cool uh, fun little nuances and crisp fills like real crisp fills from Damien on a drum kit uh, their rhythm section everything has a purpose it's, it's uh, an amazing rhythm section is just terribly underrated, and I want to give them dudes a shout out right quick, right off the bat. Um, 
Bob and Jeremy keep the right amount of growl and melody on the guitar. I can't believe the amount of tone Bob gets out of a hollow body guitar. Same. Uh, Mike really flexes the vocals on this. Uh, yeah, like I said, it takes everything that's really cool about Negan and smashes it all into one song. So if you were wondering what Negan was all about, I highly recommend the song we You are obsolete. 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 What you see is what you get with these guys. Uh, there's no studio magic. These guys sound like this live. Like I've had, I've had the uh, awesome luck and awesome pleasure to see these guys play three separate occasions, three separate bars, three separate sound systems. And uh, yeah, there's there's no, absolutely no studio magic on this EP at all. Uh, the guitar tone, the vocal harmonies, uh, it's it's all it's all there, it's all there live. Like they don't. There's nothing that they did on this EP that they are incapable of doing live, and in some cases, seeing it live is better. I'm always drawn in by a good live performance, so watching these guys play was like... And then getting a hold of the EP after watching them play, and realizing that it's essentially a mirror image of itself. Uh, yeah, what you see is what you get with these guys. Definitely go see them live. You are obsolete. 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 And finally, Negan's a breath of fresh air. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, a lot of bands are focused on the flash and flare and the leads. These guys are focused on the actual structure of the song. There's way more focus on the rhythm and a whole lot less the leads with these guys. Not to say that the leads are bad. The, the, when, when they do use leads, they're great. It's just they know where to put them. Uh, they put the songs together really well. And, uh, you know, I, even me personally, when I sing, I'm thinking the Cookie Monster vocals. But, uh, Megan doesn't use that. They don't use that at all. It's, they, they use real vocal harmonies, actual singing. But they do it to where they're not compromising the nuts of the song. Like, the song's still got balls of big steel. And, uh,. To me, as a listener, like it's important to have some sort of substance behind your music. Like, uh, yeah, these guys do that very well. And the fact that every member brings their A game and doesn't try to show off, it makes the song so much better. Uh, yeah, you know, some bands have that one guy that they rely on. These guys all kind of lean on each other and put together some really great songs. Like I said, it's super refreshing. Uh, it's not the same old, same old that you get on the regular. I think that's why I've been listening to it so much lately. You are obsolete. 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 The best part about the CP is if you go to a Negan show, hang out with your friends, it's a good chance that Mike Davis just hand you one of them. Uh, but yeah, they, they, like that's how I got my copy. I just happened to be sidebar watching play, and Mike was walking around just throwing out demos. How it goes when you go to a local show sometimes. Uh, but if you can, hit them up on their Facebook. Uh, I'll put some links up to get a hold of these guys. Uh, I'll put a link up for their uh, their lyric video and. Uh, you know, I wish I wish Negan did have a merch table where you could order some stuff from them and go there. If they did, and they asked me to work it, I'd do it. But uh, like I always say in the top five, don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. Once again, I'm Travis from Snake Den Entertainment and from the Cursed Sons. And I'll catch you later.